Hello and welcome to the USF 2000 at Orin Park. Uh, it's been a minute. Had a uh, work and stuff holding me back, but uh, <laughs> we got a late night race here. Um, it's not so much that I'm like not able to race at all because of work. It's that I get home from work at midnight and no one's racing anymore. <laughs> like this race, everyone you saw is everyone who signed up. It's, uh, we got seven people, I think it was. So, you know, not the greatest turnout, but, um, this is a fun little challenging track here in the USF 2000. Full disclosure, it is actually my second Green attempt. Flag. Green flag. A couple days ago, I gave this a try, and, uh, as I completely ruined them, my run up okay. there. This takes a lot of focus, so maybe I should hold on a second. Oh, I forgot to change my mm, brake bias. Shoot. I want this at 52.5 because it locks up way too easy. Okay, well, this first lap's a throwaway. That stinks. Okay, maybe we can actually just get a good run up this time. I can't. Hey. <laughs> okay. Let me actually try to do a good lap here. Very tough. Wants to spin out constantly. Better, but not perfect. That up a little. Not great. And I'm spinning out five more. Jesus, why can't I qualify right? Oh, frustrating. I messed it up the last time, too. Uh, the last time, I actually wanted to not qualify, but I was the number one again because I can only race late at night when the participation is low. And uh, I started up front because you can't not qualify as the number one because people that don't qualify well I guess I could have this time huh because everyone's putting time then whatever but uh I wanted to start in the back and couldn't and then I messed up the first corner because there's people pressuring from me from behind and the guy in front breaks sooner and then collision so there was I'm okay with posting bad races, but there was no race to watch there, because I just basically died in the first corner, so. This time hopefully will last a little longer than that. I could have not qualified, which is kind of a bummer, because... One left to green. Line up on the I would have liked to start in the back, but... I still made it back up to fourth in that race after I uh, hobbled in for a quick repair. And I had really good pace in that field. About to go green. Uh, Stay focused. For a little better this time. Blinking out in front of us right before the start. Let's go. Green flag, green flag. Pit road's open. Starting fourth. We're probably going to get black flag now. I don't know where that guy even was. You're on the right. Three wide. Left side. Not what Three I wanted wide. to hear. Clear. Left side. Still there. Hold your line. Clear on the left. Stay on the right. It's not backing off. Clear. <sighs> okay, that was scary. This is very hard to do on these cold tires. Don't want to shift into second there, you will spin. More likely than not. Even though it feels a little bogged down. I feel like I can't even gather my thoughts for uh, the commentary here, because this takes so much uh, so much concentration. That guy sends it, and then locks it up, and then goes off track. So he's gone. But, uh... 
Yeah, work's been keeping me from racing a little bit, just because uh, I'm not too late to get into any races with enough people to justify it. But I just go ahead and do this one. That guy's Car scaring on. me. Keep to the left. Okay. Stay on the He's left. gonna fight for it still. Still there. You're back in fourth position. Clear on the right. That was a 41.8. It drives in. It's gone. Okay. It's not the first time we've seen that this race. Now we got to see if we can catch up to the guys in front. They're pretty fast though, so I'm not so sure it's gonna happen, but if I don't crash, then maybe we can get a podium. But then again, crashing is very likely as well because this is very difficult. Very bumpy. Crazy loose when you get on the throttle just about anywhere on the track. But it's a it's a fun challenge for sure. Tires get warm, it's a lot more fun. <laughs> Other, uh, before that, it's just really scary. Because it feels like you can't do anything without it trying to kill you. Or maybe that's just me not being very good. Nope, still skill steers. <laughs> still scary! I shifted into third there and it started going around. I caught it though. gonna try to race my uh, all-time best and see if uh, that brings me anywhere. Like I said, I think I have pretty good pace if I can put it together, but uh, it's just a, it's a very difficult task to get everything working. All at, uh, all at the same time. So my personal best is a uh, 39.7. I feel like that's pretty good. That would have got me pole. Yeah, I can't remember what they had. I think it was a 39.9 uh, nine is what got pole here. But the problem is I can't just pull uh, my best lap ever out of a hat. <laughs> so. I have had a fair amount of practice at this to this point because I practiced before the last race that messed up in the first corner and uh, practiced plenty ahead of time in this one as well. The leader has just done a 39.5. 39.5. So we're not going to catch the two if uh, they can put those kind of laps up. Got on the throttle a little hard. These things are pretty hard to catch too, so you can't really be making a big habit out of that. Don't really want to be sliding these around. Not something, not like something like the Mazda, where you can. Well, that's kind of just the fast line is to be sliding your car around. That's how you be fast in those. <laughs> I don't know. That's probably what the fast people do in this series too, though. To be fair, like they probably just know how to control it on that razor's edge, and not so quite there for me. Okay, Colton. Ten minutes to go. That's Real bad, but it'll be over. Keep it up. Cut down and maybe get a little bit of it back. One thing I do want to talk about is just like about how uh, at the beginning of this week I didn't really get any too many videos out. I did the Arca one. I haven't been able to do much more, and uh, I wouldn't expect my channel to be something like Nick Neben's channel, where he does like two videos a day. I can't keep up with that level of consistency to be honest and uh i just i don't want to burn myself out on it either on racing so um i hope people find my channel more as a uh, cool thing to find and their subscriptions maybe You're like oh cool a video to watch rather than being like a uh, it's monday at 2 p.m where's my video <laughs> kind of thing 
Not that anyone would care that much about the videos coming out, but my point is, I don't think I'll be doing like a schedule type thing. Just, uh, I race, and I happen to record it at the same time. And I don't do races just because I want to It's a lap car, so that will not be a spot, unfortunately. I'm not sure what the I-rating's going to think of this race. I might get a podium and lose I-rating. <laughs> I think the two's probably pretty close up there to me in terms of uh, road I-rating. Don't know where the three is. I don't have like the race labs thing where it shows, but it is. Although that would be very useful. Thanks, Daniel. Just paying attention to what was happening with the leader instead of paying attention to my breaking point in turn one. Thankfully, I didn't overcook it. I thought for a second it was a sarcastic thanks, Daniel, and like the lap car wrecked him or something. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> but no, not the case. Man, overdrove that again. So, we might be catching number three up there just a little bit. I'm not sure. I think it kind of just depends if I have a good lap or a bad lap where I end up in relation to him. Probably not consistently doing anything because there's nothing consistent about my laps right now. It's so difficult. Kind of getting more into the rhythm now. Getting more uh, comfortable with the tires and where they're at. Thanks for that back there, Daniel. Um, my mark wasn't on, but. It does actually look like the three is pulling away even when I hit a halfway decent lap, so. I'm going to have to hope for a mistake out of him. Your last lap time was at 40.2. Good lap. That's your quickest today. Yeah, that was my quickest today, apparently, so... What is he doing? Where are you going to be? Car ride. Okay, we, we found are. him. Found our way around him. It was pretty predictable. It's, it's alright with me. A little off pace, but uh, we made it around like it's a multi class race or something. As long as the person in front holds their line, then it's uh, you know, it's up to me to be able to get around them, and we were able to do it so. Ooh, got a little light there. I will say, like, uh, even though. Whew, even though the tires warm up, this car is still very loose. Just a little bit less <laughs> is the only difference. Ooh, got our tire off a little bit there. That was scary. We're alive. How much time we got? got about five and a half more minutes. Very quick laps around here. I'm sure you've noticed by now on lap, what is it, 15? But uh, only for like 40 second laps. It's pretty short for road course racing. It's just the south configuration here, so we're not doing the whole course. And it's a very interesting challenge. Didn't want to try to get one of these uploaded, because it's pretty fun. Even if, uh... Uh-oh. What's going on? It's around the river bend. We got a pink number six turned. I don't think that's the first time we've seen them. Very easy to do. So no, no judgment from me. Just don't always trust the car enough. If I trusted the car more, I could push it a little harder and trust that it's going to stick. It might not stick on the cold tires, but maybe it'll stick a little bit better now. It's part way into the race. But I just don't trust it enough. Not that comfortable in this car yet, since I'm still pretty new. I feel like that's where I could get some more speed, knowing where I can push it and it won't uh, snap on me. 
Mm. Like there, I had to catch it. I probably heard my wheel sound like a gasp, because that's what I'm doing. Whenever I have to yank the wheel like that, a quick uh, counter steer to prevent it from spinning. That's what uh, force feedback's good for. You know when it starts feeling that certain way, and you know you don't have that grip anymore, it's time to start saving it. And uh, thankfully I was able to do it that time. Over, over, overshot it. Oh my god, I can't believe I saved that. I should not have been able to save that. Let me be careful for a second because I probably heated some tires up. And uh, I probably shouldn't even be going so hard because I'm not going to catch the guy in second. And we're not going to get caught by the guy in fourth unless I mess up. But, uh, well, what's the fun in that? <laughs> I'm going to still try to put in some good laps. So if uh, three hits the wall in the last lap or something and has to limp it to the end, maybe I can catch him. You never know what's going to happen. Plus, it's... It's more fun. <laughs> Hopefully more entertaining to see me uh, trying to fight this car since uh, we otherwise don't have really any cars to battle. So, maybe not the uh, most exciting video, but it's sure as exciting for me. <laughs> oh god. Because I gotta catch it from doing stuff like that, or that was my fault, pretty much. Just kind of missed the angle through that little, uh, that quick section there. Thank you, Linda. Never really, uh, I haven't gotten close to my best, uh, my best lap in this race yet. And that's just goes to show that I'm not really pushing it as much as I would in practice. Out of fear. <sighs> See, when I do push it, I have to fight it. So I almost, uh, wrecked myself. You've just done a 40.6. Gosh, I need to be easy on the tires for a little bit here, I think. Because uh, all this sliding around is kind of making them angry. Let me be uh, more gentle for a while. Like I said, I shouldn't be pushing it at all, anyway. The smarter thing would to be just take easy laps at this point. But you're not here to watch smart racing. I don't know what you're here for. I don't know why anyone's here. Why am I here? Play car on the right. Hello, PJ. Thank you, PJ. I'm wearing my PJs at this very moment. As I typically do when I'm racing because it's at night. Oh my gosh, what was that? A big knock on the side of my wall in my apartment. White flag. White flag. So we just gotta bring it around one more time and get our uh, our podium. Although it's uh, three out of seven as the number one, so that's not exactly an inspirational performance. <laughs> but uh, oh well, those two guys are faster than me, bar none. So we're gonna finish where uh, I think we deserve to finish overall. Uh, well, that's the way it should be. Might just hang out behind Daniel here, because we don't have anywhere to go in a hurry. Alright. Good win, number two. Play car ahead. Might be gone already. I'm actually not sure. Good drive. People right. spinning out. Flag. That is not the winner. Great job. You did really <laughs> At least well. the person that finished second. Chance of a top five finish in this split. <laughs> All right. So we got third. 
We got no incidents. That's pretty cool. One of only two to do that. Later must have had a couple off tracks. Well, let's see what uh what did happen out here. The start was a little bit scary. I'm just gonna go ahead and watch the start. We were three wide. Well, for a second. I just took the wide outside line and and uh, took it real easy there. I was given zero room at all. So thankfully I pinned it to the inside corner. I mean, I almost got hit and I was on the rumble strips. That's really close to me getting to someone. Whenever just barely having any contact kills you. So I back it out and let them have it there. Alright, now the uh, accidents properly. Uh, sliding in through there is Daniel. This guy left early. Looks like it's because he broke his car. Just uh, went in there a little too hard. PJ's off the track and oh man, destroys his car. He must have went in and got that fast repair to come out later. Yeah, you get off track there and then just had no grip anymore and suddenly he's uh, on a one-way ticket to that wall and uh, it did not take it very well so now again man the same corner got him it's tough because you can take out that you can take that section beforehand flat out but uh, you gotta make sure you get the angle right or else you end up flying off the other side we're on lap 12 now. Another uh, self-spin there. Oh no. So much trouble in this one section. If he had this one section down, I think he'd be okay. Ooh. Off, uh, off track there. Couldn't save it. And then, I believe that was it. Yeah. So now number two celebrates their podium. <laughs> Our number three celebrates their number two spot, I guess I should say. So, yeah, that's that. I'll probably end up losing I rating, but who cares? Uh, like I said, I finished where I think I deserve to. Um, on pace, it's probably right about where I was, because two and three were faster than I was. Uh, maybe if I were a little dare more daring, I could hit my, like, 39 sevens, <laughs> like I do in practice, consistently, then uh, maybe I would be a contender but uh, the other side of that coin is I'm not gonna be able to hit 39 sevens regularly in the first place and if I try I will finish down here <laughs> wrecked probably first lap so uh, just gotta know not to drive over my head you can push it in practice but uh, it's real easy to restart <laughs> in practice here you get one restart and uh, well if you have to do that once then you're pretty much out of it so I'll take my uh, third place clean run. Can't get any cleaner than a 0x. So, hope it was interesting, even though we didn't really race anyone too much. The first couple laps were kind of scary. But after that, we kind of just found our own spot and navigated a couple of the uh, lap down guys and uh, survived the race. So, hey, that's something. Thanks for watching, and I'll hopefully see you again soon. I'll try to get some more videos out. Got some off time now. So, see you then.